Hi, welcome back to Nana here. <coughs> so we have a DocuSign, uh, which allows us to send a document to a third party and then uh, get the approvals and then record the electronic signatures. And then if you are not, there is a separate license cycle. If you don't have a license, Oracle has provided a workaround. So you can very well uh, use our Oracle Fusion systems itself to send the document for electronic signature. And then I'm not going to demonstrate a miscellaneous receipt uh, for which we need approval by a third party or other, yeah, another user. But I have an issue, so I will be expanding it about it in the last. And then if any of you knows the solution for it, please tell me. So let us now begin, first of all, the electronic e signatures for a miscellaneous receipt. So let me share it. <clears throat> so if you go and then have a look at it, <clears throat> if you go to this place, and then I will not click on it, I will not go to the FSM area first of all. Let me go to the FSM. So go to the setup and maintenance in the FSM area. So here I will not uh, go to manufacturing and supply chain management. And then all your inventory orgs are basically done on the facilities. Facilities are basically for inventory org. So if you go there, it shows you this many required tasks. If you go there, then click on all tasks. So here, the capturing of uh, configuring the electronic signature is not coming at all. It is not coming. So we have to enable it first of all. So then only it will be coming. So we have to configure the electronic signature. It's coming, not coming. So what you do is, we'll now go there. So click on the change features option on this. And click on the, on the right hand side top. And it is now parallel to the function areas and click on the change feature options <coughs> for the facilities we are doing. We have to do it for the facilities actually. So click on the change feature options and then there we will now go to the facilities and then in the facilities, let me go on and edit the feature. Click on edit feature. So here we have to allow electronic signatures for this one. Capture electronic records and signatures. So you're going to enable it. So capture electronic records and signatures. Click on it, enable it. So we are now capturing the electronic signatures, and this is now enabled. Actually. Now we can very well send the document to a, another user for an electronic approval. Actually. Click on that. Now this will be available on your FSM area itself. And since it has been up, uh, enabled, so this will be available on the FSM area itself. So go there. So click on done, and then come out of it. So it is in the offerings actually. In the offerings, we have enabled it. Now we go there. And then we will now, what happens if you go there, go to the facilities, I will now go to the all tasks. Now, thank you for the all tasks. You will now see that capture electronic signature will be done. Or otherwise, configure them. <coughs> so you'll be getting what here yeah, configure electronic signatures. And then go down. So configure electronic signature preferences is coming. Click on this moment. Click on the configure electronic signature preferences. So these electronic signatures can be captured for very many entities. Like if you only want a lot update, you need a or, or serial update or whatever it is. No there are plenty of such things that are available here. So now today I'm not going to test it on a miscellaneous transaction. So on the miscellaneous transaction. So here you can even add the org. Here. Fine. The facilities will be having multiple orgs on which what happens again very well added. So now I'm now going to use the 002 one. So you keep a custom 002. On the miscellaneous transaction, I'm going to enable it. I'm enabling it. So miscellaneous transaction is enabled actually. So, and then give a save and close. So whenever you want to make any miscellaneous transaction, it needs an approval for 002R. So click on save and close. Now I'm now going to create an approval group. And then from there, what happens, I will now configure the next step of click on the search now. I'm going to manage. So, so many things can be uh, signed electronically by another person. So go to the manager for groups. <laughs> then go to the approval groups. Let me create an approval group. Now I have logged in at the 12th SCM now. Fine. I will now keep the 13th SCM 13 dot student as approval action. So we'll now go and then create an approval group for this. And click on plus on the letter grade number. <coughs> I will now say misc approval group. So it's for the miscellaneous approval group. Click on save now. So once when you save it, the Apple group name will be coming on the left hand side bottom. So Apple group is now saved probably. I will now add one or two employees. In this case, I'm not going to have only one employee also. So I will now, I will be logged in as SCM12. I will now put SCM13, SCM13.student. 
as an upgrade. I click on it. I'm putting this employee as an upgrade. So that's it. We are going to have only one upgrade. Give us save. It is now complete. Apple group is saved successfully. I will now close the screen. Misc approval group is now done. MISC. Now what I do is I will now go to the task configuration for supply chain management actually. Now go there. So drop it down. We'll now go to what manufacturing and supply chain management. And then again go to the facilities now. And the facilities, whatever we go there. I will now say go to the all tasks over here. Go down. And then I will now I have done the configure of this now. Fine. So configuration is complete. So for 0, 0.0 to org, we need an electronic signature. So below which we have one manager task configuration for supply chain management. I go there, click on it. I will now go on and edit it. I will now query for the material. Fine. MTL is the one. <clears throat> Fine. MTL, I go there, query for it. Fine. It is capital M, remember. Fine. You cannot enter it. You have to give a go now. Fine. It is capital M. If you give a small MTL, it will not work. Small MTL, if you go, whatever, it will not work. It is case sensitive. It is Baker. Fine. They should not have made it case sensitive. Capital MTL. Fine. Init caps. Go there. So go on and query. You will be getting the go. Now. So it is called M MTL management. Uh, it is inline task. Thank you. I'm now going to create a approval. So this is for all the uh, inventory middle management. Fine. Like middle instance, we have lot update, serial update, etc., etc. So this is a common approval specific. So click on it. MTL management is inline task is the one just coming up. So go there, and then here I will now go to the assignees. Click on the assignees and, and then here you got multiple things are available. You know, fine. So there are four such things are there. The first one is what it is for. If you click on it, it is what transaction approvals. Find the second one. It is for parallel approvals. Find second one is for parallel approvals. The third one is for serial approvals. And then the final one, if you go on that, go near it. What happens? It will not show you what exactly it is. Not fine. It is for transaction submitter actually. So there are four such things that are available here. We will now choose the first one. Click on the first one on which we are going to edit. So click on it. And then at the bottom, we have a business rule here. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the business rule and then we move it. So finally, once we edit it, there will be a, a blue color icon coming on this area. Now. Fine. That means what is fully, it is configured actually. Your blue color icon has to come in this place now. And one is configured. So go there. So this is the one now, fine, with the rules. <clears throat> so go there. Uh, I will now having the rules actually. The rule type, everything is coming now. So we'll now search by alias name. Is there any group there or not? No, see now, fine. Is a rule set actually. <coughs> uh, Assignees is there. Fine. So click on the rules now. Fine. Click on the rules. Uh, so we have to create a rule actually. Click plus to create a rule. Fine. Click on plus to create a rule. That is what it's saying now. Fine. So uh, click on plus now. Fine. There is any plus here now. Fine. I don't find any plus at all here actually. Uh, where is the plus actually? <clears throat> Drop it down. So type by name. Otherwise, uh, by name. We have to go on and see. Click on it. So click on plus to create a rule actually. <clears throat> uh, okay. It is not in edit mode. That is the reason we want. So we have to bring it to the edit mode. Click on the edit mode. So we have to bring it to the edit mode. So only on the edit mode, what happens? Click on the edit mode and go there. The design is go there. So keep your cursor on the first one and then go down to the rule. <coughs> so click on the rule. So if it is an edit mode, it will allow you to edit it. So go there. So you are getting a plus here. So the plus was not coming because it's not edit mode. I will now say a decision rule. Uh, decision table or a general rule. I will make it a general rule. So make a general rule over here. And it's a very complex one, so you have to understand it very properly. So here, if is there, and click on this. Now first of all, get a simple test. And click on simple test. And then we can even uh, make the if condition. Is a if then else one. And go there. So I will know uh, what happens. I bypass the if by one. One is one. If you say one is one, the if condition is bypassed. It's always true. So if you say one is one, the if condition is bypassed. If you know uh, the objects of a if actually, then you can even configure if so and so satisfied, so and so condition is satisfied, then you can go to the then action. So click on that now. Now click on that. So in the then, what happens? You go down. The bottom, you'll be having what? One add approval. Fine, click on it. I will not use the approval. So whatever you used on the procurement, fine, like job level approval, supervisor level approval, position level approval, everything is possible from here itself. 
So I'm now using the approval group for this exercise. I'm using the approval group. Again. So click on it. So it's now connected. Approval group selected and then I will now say MISC. MISC approval group. MISC. MISC approval group is the one where EMP 13, student 13 is coming. I love empty groups. I make it as a two now. So the rule name is coming automatically over there. And that's it. And select it. And then here, what happens? I give a save. I'm just it. The second icon is for save actually. So it's on. Mission fine. Click on it. Comment. And I click on save. And then save it. Now we have to validate it. We have to validate it. And go to the assignment. And then we have to validate the rule actually. So go there. Click on it. We have to validate it. So in the top, what happens? You'll be having one icon for validation actually. <clears throat> so it's now coming. Fine. I will know. There is a validate icon on the top. Click on the validate button. So I'm going to validating it. So we'll now see whether any errors are there or not. So here in the bottom, what happens? You can now see if you go down on this now, fine. It says no validation errors are coming. No validation errors are one. So that means what? The configuration is perfect actually. We'll now go there. Click on it. So it is now complete now, fine. So we will now go back to the assignees. The left hand side top, what happens? We go back to the assignments. The rule is now created actually. So the, the, the this thing has come right there. The blue color icon has come. So what you do is you go to the advanced, then go to the advanced, and then here, what happens? Ignore participant is enabled. Fine. Do not ignore it. Fine. Consider the participant. Fine. Remove it. Fine. We are going to consider the participant. And then give a save. Upon saving it, you can now find a blue icon coming up. Fine. Click on save. So upon doing it, what happens? We are now fine. Click on it. Okay, a blue icon will be coming. That means what? This rule is enabled actually. You go to the assignees and then have a look at it. So ignore participant must be off now. Right? So it's still not coming. <clears throat> It'll be coming up. So let me publish it and then see. So go there. And then ignore participant is there. And then if you go to the notification area, fine, click on the notification area. And then I will now send the notification to the approvers also. Right? Click on plus now. Right? So click on plus and then let it now add to the uh, what happens, assign to approvers also. And drop it down. I will now say approvers. <coughs> we are assigning it to the approvers also. Assign to what happened? Is it approvers also. So change it, assign to approvers. That is not changed. So click on save. Assign to approvers is now save. And click on okay. It is now save. And then you go to the configuration area and then enable all the four in <laughs> the top. Right? Allow all participants, allow participants to edit future participants, allow initiator. Right? This is a normal one. And then if it is required, then only what happens, you'll be disabling it actually. The remaining are all okay, man. No need to touch it. And click on save. Again, save. So we enable everything <coughs> on the command. And then the assignees, if we go there again, click on it. Man. You have to get a blue, blue icon now, fine. Right? Not it coming. <coughs> okay, fine. The advanced, we are done now, fine. So go there. let us now publish it. So publishing is basically deploying. And commit. Commit is basically deployed. And click on the commit. This is basically a save now. And then this is a, basically a commit. And click on commit is basically a deployment. So click on OK now. Fine. It is now deployed also. <coughs> so task is saved as well as commit also. And click on that. So now you go to the notification and how to operate it now. Fine. So is the assigned approach as well. Fine. Click on the assign. <coughs> now what happens? The blue tick mark is coming after you commit actually. After you commit, and then that also what happens? You have to have what on the advanced ignore participant must be removed. If it is there, it will not come at all. So that means what the rule is not perfectly set to send it to EMP 13 actually, right? ACM 13 actually. So we are done it. So everything is not done. We'll now go on and perform the transaction. <coughs> this is where I am stuck actually. So let us now go to this place and then go to the home icon. We'll now go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the inventory management. You go to the inventory management and then let us now perform a miscellaneous result. Actually. So we have configured the approvals for 002 or We have configured the approval for 002 or So I am in 001 or that is not having any approvals. Right. Click on it. Go there. I will now go and then create a miscellaneous transaction on 001. So click on create miscellaneous transaction. <coughs> if you go there. So go there. You can now see submit button is coming fine so in 002 it will be coming as a submit for approval actually so let me close cancel it let us not change the in the 001 org it is not configured for approvals so what happens submit button is coming in 002 org it will be submit for approval we can you have to cancel and then we will not change the org <coughs> so here is what I changed it actually 
So I will not again go there and then I will not change the order. From here itself, I will done it actually. <clears throat> so click on again, what happens? I create miscellaneous transaction. Let me change the order. So here, yeah, I guess I will click on change order to 002. 002. <clears throat> So once when the org is changed, and then if you go for the great miscellaneous transaction, it will be coming as what? Submit popper will actually. Submit popper is going. So click on it, drop it down. And then we'll not choose the miscellaneous result. And then here. <coughs> I will not click on search now. So click on OK. It will not done. Drop it down, click on yes. And then click on plus, and then I'm going to add an existing item plan for the AS6500. AS6500 is an item. So I'm going to I will not put on the supplementary stores actually. So it's still searching for the item. <clears throat> so once the item is completed, we can output the supplementary stores. So we have a 20 quantities available here. So we have a 20 quantity available. I will not go for stores. I will not go for 100 more stores in supplementary plan. Go for and then I don't know whether we can send any details to the approver or not. Click on any details. Let's see whether we can add any details to the approver actually. <clears throat> not sure about it. So go to click on any details and you see any column is there for people to do it. And requester is so and so. Find reference reason will not drop down, will not put this on reasons. So something <clears throat> putting it. So reference is what? Nana's. Whether the reference will come to the approver or not, I'm not very sure about it. Fine, okay, fine. There is no other column uh, where we can put the justification for our approvals actually. And I think that we'll not see the reference is coming up. Okay, fine, but everything is not done fine. So click on OK. <clears throat> so it will be submitted for approval. Requester is OK. Fine. He is a CM toll only the request. And click on submit for approval. So the moment I submit for approval, it will be going to EMP 30. It's SCM 30 actually. It will not be SCM 30 as per the approval. So it is not submitted for approval. So the 12th user himself can see this actually here. So the 12th user himself can see this. So 100 quantities is not sent for approval. We already have a stock of 20. So 100 more is required now. <clears throat> it will be submitted for approval and then it will become more clear. So you can even watch what the approver has done on this page. So it is now submitted for approval. It will now go via the workflow for e-signatures. So if you don't have a docker sign, we can very well use this electronic signature route for very many approvals on the inventory front. On the MTL, if you go and then put it to be coming. So e-signatures for miscellaneous transaction e-signature identifier is on so fine. The source identifier is coming fine, awaiting approval. And electronic record is there. This is the item. And the quantity is fine. So now coming everything in the ball. And go down and then see on this one. This is the one which has to see. <clears throat> Whether our reference information is there or not, fine. it is not there at all. My in description, everything is there. Reliance account, fine. Secondary, all these things are there. But the reference information which I given is not visible at all. Fine. Go to the bottom, you can now see it has now gone to SCM toll actually. Oh God, SCM 30. So it is now lying with SCM toll and then afterwards SCM 13 actually. Fine. It has now, it has to go to MCA then. You know, it is now enabled for both actually. I don't know why it is now enabled for both actually. Fine. We are given only SCM 13 as a as the approver actually, fine, but it should not go to SCM tool at all. It is assigned, fine. If you go and then click on the camera icon on this one, fine. So click on the camera icon on this. You don't see whether SCM 13 is the one which is assigned actually. So it is not SCM 13 is the assigned one. Fine. It should not show me ACM tool at all. I don't know why it's showing it. <coughs> so go there. So that is not coming at all. So the camera icon is not coming at all. So I have not clicked on this. So anyhow, SCM 13 student is assigned actually. SCM 12 is our student who has created it actually. So if you click on the camera icon of this, we'll not see whether anything is coming up. Or this page. <clears throat> I don't think it's a very problem. We'll not see whether SCM 12 has got a notification available here to the team or not. It may not be there. It's a parallel one. And so it is now saying that it is now getting assigned to both basically. We are now configured only an approval group and then what about the initiator as well as the approver are coming in parallel actually. That is what it says actually. So go there. The top, what happens if you see on the notification bell icon, then any notification has come on. 
So it is awaiting approval. It is now awaiting approval. So that's still working, working, working fine. I'm not coming at all. <clears throat> so what we will do is we will now go to the th 13th employee and then we will now sign and then we will now take a copy of it. I will now log in through another browser actually. I will now open an Opera browser. <clears throat> it is a Chrome browser. I am now opening up Opera browser. I will paste it over there. So it's a cm13.student, cm13.student. I will not take up the password, and the passwords are common actually. So let me take up the common password over here, and paste it and So ACM13 is logging in actually. So he'll be getting a bell notification at the top actually, that it needs an L connection. We got a notification at the top right answer column. So he will now click on the notification icon. So now I've seen that action required miscellaneous transaction D signature identifier is not the organization. So we'll now click on it. He's now going to take an action. So or the two on the left hand side, you can go to the tools and then work lists or tools approval also. It will now bring the same screen for him for him to approve. So he is going to do it now. So he is he will now first of all read the entire content of this one. So now read the entire content of this. So he's now reading the net. So this is the thing which is required actually. Okay. So we have sent a reference information also, but that is not visible anywhere. No point. You can even add a comment also. I click on it, will not add a comment. <clears throat> but that comment is not visible for the creator actually. I don't know where to see it. Objection. But miscellaneous transactions are high-level transactions. Say, for example, a police officer is coming. He is asking you, you are manufacturing TV. Are you, uh, though TV utaki mera, uh, jeep mera <clears throat> right. you cannot give a sales order to the police officer at all. It's a free. It's a, like a break back. Right. So for such things, you will not perform a miscellaneous issues and miscellaneous visit and then adjust the stop. So miscellaneous transactions are mainly for stop and distance. And so since they are all high-level transactions, you may need an approval like this. So the approver is saying that I don't have any objection for this. But I'm unable to see this comment at all. His approver's comment, I'm unable to see. And he is now giving a comment also. <clears throat> so he has now added a comment. And then he is now saying, he has, I have now read the electronic record. And go there. So it's no comment. So he is now going to approve it. Select it fine. Once when I did the approval. So in a docu sign also, once when somebody is going to approve, he has to give the username and password. Then only it will get approved. Fine. Once when you put it, the approval button is now enabled. Fine. If you click on the approve, he has to perform what happens the username and password. So click on the approve. The approver has to put his username and password and then approve it. It is exactly similar to DocuSign. So he is now putting SCM 13.student. I will not paste the password. So click on it. So he is now approving it. So once when the approval is not done, fine, it is now gone now. Fine. The notification will now vanish actually. So if you click again on this now, the notification won't be visible at all. No notification is displayed at all. So if you click on the more details, you can now see whatever action has been taken that will also turn into the details. Yes, I'll be approved on this. More details will now actually, whatever actions you have taken, that also you can see it actually on this place now. <clears throat> BPM Vocalist area. Uh, there are zero tasks pending with him actually. If nothing is there. In, uh, administered task is not showing any kind of actions. Me and group assigned. I'll not say any and then give a go now. So, miscellaneous transactions there. So if you click on it, if you click on it, he has already taken action on this one. He can have a look at it. It is already approved actually. So click on the notification <coughs> through the more details and then have a look at it. So it's a Signature meaning approval. Find the word as find the word. So he is, we are able to see the comments at the approvers screen actually. In the approval screen, we are able to see the comments. So signature meaning is what approval. The word design. Nothing else is now shown over here now. <clears throat> now this comment I am unable to see on the initiator screen actually. If you, it, it must be possible, but I don't know how to do it actually. So it means what signature is meaning approval. That word design now find the word. So click on close. They will not come back to our screen. Click on the screen. So here, what happens? I will not refresh it. 
So once when you refresh it, it will not say it will be status will be coming as upload. You can't refresh it. You are refreshing it actually. So once when you refresh it, the status will not change to upload. So status is upload. And then I am unable to see his comments actually. Nowhere the comments are shown here. And I don't know where to see it. So if you can see, the initiator can see the comments, it will be great actually. Fine. If you are finding it out, please tell me what, where to see this one. Is the electronic record today? What happens? You go there. If you click on electronic record, more approval is there. You may even be able to see the comments in this camera icon. Again. Task is completed. Approved. Fine. You click on the camera icon, you can see, can see the comments or not. <clears throat> so both the tick marks are come now. Fine. SEM is approved. Workflow system is also completed now. So if you click on the camera icon, maybe you can see the comments section. <clears throat> but I have an issue now. So, so I will now click on the camera icon of the SEM 13 now. I click on the SEM 13. One of my students asked me, so I am helpless actually. I will tell you what, what are the issue now. <clears throat> okay, fine. So it's not visible actually. Maybe in the camera icon, you may be able to see it now. So give a thing and then what happens? Uh, now the initiator has to give a save and close. So if you go there, right click on the duplicate, you will now see the stock of it in the 002R. So go there. I will now go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. And then I will now look at the stock of the item. Click on it. Will now look at the stock. Go to the manage item quantities of 002R. And I'm already in 002. And it's now coming up over there. So since I've changed on the screen. So go to AS6500. So click on search. You're searching for it. <clears throat> So it will not show you a stock of 21. So click on search. It will not show you a stock of 20 and not 1, 2. So the stock is still 21. Stock is only 20. So that means what? After the initiator has referred it and then seen the screen as approved, he has to give a save and close. And drop it on. Save and transact other. So save and save. So go there. Click on it. So he has to perform the save and close. Then only the transaction gets completed. Fine, click on save and close. Then only whatever the transaction gets completed. So save and close, he is now clicking on it, which whatever you can see the transaction is getting updated. Then only the stock gets updated. So your transaction process with no issue system. And if you go there, click on it. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then click on search now. It will be showing one thing. Now, my student's issue, I will not tell you. I will not tell you about my student's issue. Now, we are now going to create another 200. So, go to the create miscellaneous transaction. We will now create a transaction for another 200 quantities. So, go to the miscellaneous result. This is where my student got stuck and then I have no answer for it. I don't know how to do it actually. This is where my problem is. So, I will now choose an account. And then drop it down and make it as yes. So, click on plus. Is six five equal zero. Let's close. Already is two hundred. So one twenty is the stock. Find with that click on submit copy. Now the message will now go to the approver. Approver is normally a very busy man. He may not be what I mean, logging into the system very frequently and then looking at the notifications in the bell icon. So now. What will happen if this guy is going to log in only tomorrow and then after it actually? At the time, that is the problem for me. So go there. So ACM 13 is not showing here. Right? So you know, awaiting approval is there. Yeah. It is awaiting approval. Now, in this place, he will now get a notification. If you go there, click on it, he'll be getting a notification soon. So now let us say this guy has now left the screen actually. And I don't know how to query it back. Fine. Let us say. Uh, he has now closed the screen. He cannot remain on the screen for one day, actually. Only when he remains on the screen and then if you refresh it, he can now do the save and close, actually. He can do the save and close. So let us say that he has now left the screen, actually. So it is now done. And I will now close it now. Close the screen or somewhere other, whatever. I will now pick on the home icon and then come back. I have now gone out of the screen, actually. Now, 
I cannot, I don't know where to go and then see where it is submitted for approval now. Fine, that is not known to me. You know, I have a doubt now. Fine, I will not see. Go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management. I will not go and then look at the printing transactions on this, whether it will now be pending one or not. If it is coming there, it will be great actually. Fine, I never touched it. So I just got an idea. Fine, I will not see whether it is now appearing on the pending transaction. Because he cannot wait on the screen infinitely <clears throat> till the approver approves. Because sometimes miscellaneous transactions are very highly valued transactions. You may even like to discuss the GM. Fine. So shall we adjust the stock? Up? So he may even discuss. And then finally, once when he says, okay, then this guy is going to approve. So click on it. We'll not see whether it is now appearing on the pending transactions or not. If it is appearing, it will be great actually. You now go to the manage pending transaction. Manage pending transaction. Nothing is there actually. It is only a error the transactions are appearing over here. View pending transactions if you click on it. If a transaction is end up in an error, then it comes over here. Ah, I will now make a search on the 002 or make a generic search. It's not appearing here at all. So sub inventory, I will now put a stores. Stores. What else I can do? Okay, item also I will know. Yes, six five. So for which I'm going to search for it. Click on search. Nothing is appearing here. I'm not searching, searching. There's no other thing. I'm going to search and select actually. Item number is what? Yes, six five zero. And then I click on search. Once the item, I click on okay. I'm putting the item by a selection and click on search. So it is on the 002 or only. So if you search for it, nothing is coming. I will now remove the stores. Then make a search and only item number I'm searching for it. So it's not coming. I don't know from where I can see this transaction actually. Is there any other navigation available in this place to see this miscellaneous transaction? If you go to the miscellaneous transaction also, it doesn't show me this pending one actually. If I again go to the miscellaneous transaction, it doesn't show me the pending one. Click on it. So now go to this place. Whether it shows on the infolet or not. Find on the infolet also, I don't find anything at all in this place. So you go to the create miscellaneous transaction. So here, it comes as a new screen only and then the existing one, I don't know how to query actually. So this guy has gone out of the screen actually. Now the approver is now going to approve. Thank you for it. So you would have got a notification. Fine, click on this approver, you have got a notification. It is for 200 quantities. You click on the home account. You got action now. You will not have a credit. So, uh, what is this? So click on the action required. So click on it. You now see a new notification. It has come from ACM 12, ACM 13 actually. He is now going to take an action. Why it's not coming? Come on. Opera has got any blocking of this notification. Sometimes what happens, it will be getting blocked. And pop-up is getting blocked. Sometimes it doesn't look at all. Click on notification. A kick on it is not coming. <clears throat> so this guy is now going to approve it. So you now select it and then you will now add a comment. Okay, approved. So signature meaning approval or authorization or responsibility or something like that. So I don't know, we have to go for approval only or authorize, authorize, author, authorship or something like that. I don't know what exactly. So click on approval. So you have now approved it. Uh, so username, fine, acm 13 student. Here's the password and then click on OK, which the approval will be done. It is exactly equivalent to the docu sign now, fine. They are also allowed. So if you go and then again see on this, now fine, there is no notification. And click on the more details, <clears throat> and there you can see that this is now approved. Now the twelfth employee has to see it. I don't know from where we can see that. If he gets a notification, also it's great actually. I will not say any, and then give a go now. 
the tenth point gets a notification also is okay. So you go there. So it is basically what six twenty four, six thirty five is the one point. There is the latest one. Click on it. If he gets a notification also, we can by go by a notification and have taken action. So here you can now see that okay approved is there. Find signature meaning approval. His comment is also. There. We will now see whether he gets any notification. So, because in this place, if you go and then see on this place, now fine. For the create miscellaneous transaction, it doesn't show anything at all. It doesn't show anything at all. We have to get a notification back that it is approved. Actually, then only what happens? You can now do this. And if you go to the manage item quantities and query for it, it will be only one twenty. It will not be three twenty at all. So, click on it. Click on search now. Fine. You will not find it's only one twenty. It's either be three twenty. Let's stop here. You are just transact actually. So if you click on the bell icon, if you get some notification, that will be great actually. I think I tried previously also. It doesn't happen. I click on the more details. You will not see whether any actionable thing is coming or not. Maximize it. If an actionable notification comes in, that will be great actually. So. I will not say assigned. I will not make it as any, and I will make a query now. Click on any. Nothing to display actually. So click on refresh screen. Is a refresh button. So we are refreshing it. Me and my group. So actions is what we are trying to do last moment. So click on the magnifier and then see any. Specific action is there. He has to perform a transaction. Also. He has to take an action on this. Drop it down. Search an advanced search. Then how it will come to him? How he will not take an action if he has left the screen? Actually, if the approval takes beyond time, your person cannot remain logged in on that particular screen for a pretty long time. Actually, that is what my student asked. Sir, this is a problem for us. No, fine. They have got approvals for many, many, and then they have to remain on the screen. Fine. He asked me about how to what I was. If he goes on the screen, how to see this? I don't know. So, if anybody knows about how to what I was retrieve back the data for performing a transaction, actually, fine. We have to perform the transaction. So that is not coming here. So we are searching for it. So this is where my problem is. I am unable to understand. If anybody knows it, I can do it. If I go and then again make a create transaction, you now see whether at the time it prompts us with already an existing one or not. Drop it down. What is place? Is there any result? Goes there. No copy to account over here. So click on search. Choose it. Click on OK. Drop it down. Click on yes. And then click on plus. Six five zero. Supplementary stores. Already two fifty now. Fine. Previously we made two hundred. Two fifty. Sorry. So click on submit for approval. At the end, what happens? Does it say anything? Click on submit for approval. So it will not show you only the current one which has been sent to the approvers. Right. No saying the current one. Awaiting approval. So there, I made a search. Now find nothing is coming out. So click on close. <clears throat> oh God. So I am now stuck on this issue. If you know anybody, but how to retrieve the record, the approved record? I want to retrieve back. That is not. Good. So please write to me at either nana.app60 at gmail.com or otherwise you can even what I was ping me on my mobile app. If you go to my website, I have the address on oraclenana.com/slash-inbpo. This is my website. Oraclenana.com/slash-inbpo. So here you can. You can write to me on this one, or otherwise you can 
call me and then tell me about how to do this actually. So this is where I'm stuck actually. So bye for now. And then uh, uh, once when I get an update, I will now be updating on another record actually. Bye for now. Thank you.